Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of how you can read and interpret an execution plan. So in my previous video, I showed you how you can read an execution plan using the parent child relationship. So we are going to continue the same approach using one more example. So I am bringing this example because there might be still some confusion in your mind when you read the previous case study on the execution plan because the previous execution plan which we derived had most of the parent and child relationship tree on the left hand side so that was the reason it was very easy to deduce the order of operation but in this case let us go through it with a little bit of more complicated example and i feel that after completing this example you will be able to read and interpret an execution plan using a parent child relationship 100 percent for any of the execution plan example so before we start if you have not subscribed this channel you can click on the subscribe button below and you can also click on the bell notification to receive all the notification via emails so let's get started with the example two of reading and interpreting an execution plan using the parent child relationship so i have not posted the query here this is just an execution plan and we'll create a parent and child relationship tree out of this and then we'll read the order of operation so we'll start with the first operation that is zero so zero will become your parent so i've written the first parent operation zero over here now zero is the parent and one is the child of zero because it is indented towards the right okay so one becomes the child of zero so one is marked as the child of zero now one is the parent and it has got child which is the operation number two because it is again indented towards the right of operation one so two becomes the child of one so i have written two under one now two is the parent and it has got two child three and four the reason why we are saying it has got two child is because it has because operation three and operation four are on the same level of indentation and that two indented towards the right of operation number two so three and four are on the same level and since three is on the top and four is on the bottom i will write third operation under two on the left hand side and fourth operation under two on the right hand side right so now the operation number 0 to 4 has been depicted in this parent child relationship tree now we'll see the further operations that is 5 to 8 now 5 is again a child of parent operation 4 so 5 i will write it on under operation number 4 so 5 i have write it on operation number 4 now 6 is again a child of 5 and 5 is the parent of 6 and since again 6 is indented towards the right I will write 6 under 5th operation. So 6 will be marked under 5th operation. Now the 2 operation which is left is 7th and 8 and if you see 6 is the parent and 7 and 8 is the child. Both of them are the child of operation 6 because they are indented towards the right and they are on the same level and 6, 7 is on the top and 8 is on the bottom. I will write 7 on the left hand side of the 6 and 8 on the right hand side of the 6 operation so this is how you will create a parent and child relationship tree for this entire execution plan and now what is left is how you can read the order of operation so in order to read the operation the only thumb rule is you have to start from bottom to top and from left to right so if I start look from the bottom to top there are three operations which I can see one is the seven one is the eight and one is the three so all of them qualifies when I start looking it from the bottom three seven and eight okay so from bottom to top three operations can qualify to start with now if you look from left to right so if i start from left to right third operation is the first one which i encounter that is from left side if you see third operation is the first one which is going to get encountered so three is the qualified operation and it is from operation number three the execution plan is going to start that means this third operation table access full on the customer's table so the order of operation is three so three it will start with so i have written it three as the first operation so after three two has to execute correct because three is the child so if a child execute then of course its parent has to be executed so that means two has to execute but in order to execute two i have to execute four because without the child two cannot execute so similarly without the five four cannot execute similarly without the six five cannot execute so in order to execute two i had to go down to this child path until six and it is at the sixth operation which has got two child that is seven and eight now out of seven and eight which is on the left hand side that will execute first so seventh operation is the one which is going to execute so seventh is the second operation so after third seventh operation okay now since seventh is done now six should execute but in order to execute sixth operation eight operation has to complete correct so after seventh eight will execute then six then five then four and then later two so once two is executed one will execute and then zero 
So this is how you can read and interpret a parent and child relationship using bottom to top approach and from left to right approach. Now from this diagram, many people will get confused that we have to start from 7, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 and then 0, which is absolutely wrong. It will always start from bottom to top and left to right. So it is from the third operation. This execution plan should start. So in my previous example, all of these child operations were under 3. So that's why it was very easy to deduce the order of operation. But in this case, most of the child operations are under the right hand side. So that's why this I, so that's why I hope this example will clear your 100% doubt on how you can read and interpret an execution plan using the parent child relationship. So I hope this example was helpful to you and if you have any doubts you can always ping in the comment section and hopefully I'll try to address that concern. And if you are interested in learning SQL tuning course from the start you can subscribe to the Udemy course. We have published a course SQL tuning beginner in Udemy and I have also attached a coupon in the description to get additional discount. So if you are interested in that course please have a look into it. Thank you so much for today and that will be all.